All right, here we go. Uh, welcome back, or welcome into the channel if you're new. I know I put this in my video description, so there's no point in uh, saying it again here. But we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, where did you just come from? But yeah, from last video, we're supposed to go back to the lodge here. So that's what we are again. going to do. Who do you think will be the first to ask us questions? Mateo or Noel? Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to bear it. Thank you. I will promise we'll be there and then it see if we even without you there. remember to I'll show have up. Everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. That was so stupid and robotic. Uh... What? It can't be. Our colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? A am I hearing this right? Let's yeah. take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind, enlightenment, or oblivion, like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. This is a lot to take in. Take some time to process, everyone. We finally have some answers. Now we need to figure out what to do with them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Hmm. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile up there. Need a ship with a grav jump range of 21 LY to reach. Yeah, son of a. Okay, so what's my current ship? 18. Oh boy. Only have 59. Mm. That's 19, that razor leaf. Could try to upgrade that maybe. Or sell it and buy a. I don't know. Let's accumulate some credits by doing jobs. I don't know. What did I do last? We have another blade through. Uh, wait for service. Unearthed. I'm not collecting all those powers. I can do that on my own. For once, uh, yeah, I'll go here. All right, so yeah, it's like I, I have another playthrough going on. It's up to level 33. <clears throat> Just to see what is what. Uh, let's see. Oh, floaties. I'm a floating and a floating and a floating and a floating. Wait, is this the way? Yeah. Moon base.
Da -da -da -da. This is a very long game, so I don't know. Try to finish this, maybe do Lords of the Fallen when we're done, or Alan Wake 2, since Lords of the Fallen is rather monotonous and tedious. We'll see. Um. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is what? not the most difficult. You say Lang Shu or Lang Shu? Malcolm uh, keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire. Selective hearing, I guess. And Sabine has been distracted lately. It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. I really should demand that. There's no reason that we need to be concerned about. I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. But no, nope, I don't need to be. Jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard? Building the actual vessels that are gonna travel the stars? Okay, so that's two. On a base on the moon. That's a hyper oh, on, Can Sabina. I use it? I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your oh. dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you Is just be happy doing your Ugh. job? Where's the fun in that? I don't want a plushie. Okay. Confession right, time. That's three. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an Best hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. Uh, and you. Okay, there's long distance dating, jump, and then there's like jump, long the jump, distance jump, dating. Bump, 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 you know? Bump, 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 jumping around. Oh, hey there. Doom, I'm a doom. scientist. Deadly employed. Are you? Willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm uh, back from space. Hunting space. rifle, this one. Boudicca. That's not a great opening. <laughs> Booty Coco. You uh, take that, take that. You're an astronaut. Hey, Never don't know. ask you. Okay. When I accepted the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. Who bought a stick? I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap. Teach me the Russian for all the numbers. What are you playing on her lap? What? Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang. Credits. Mm. It's microbial. Configured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain Wait, of sand in every desert on Earth. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer oh, so powerful. Take those credits. Put it on the Thank you. Moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth Wife quacking a. after receiving Wife a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> Welcome, humanity. Well, I have enough digi pickies to do this. Da -da -da. So, which one? That'll work. One, two, three, four. Okay. Take it anyway. Oh, we're not going to be discovered. Nobody's here. I don't know what you're tweaking about. That's not going to lead us to the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Open sesame. Come on. I think it's like wait two to three seconds in between doors or you can uh, well, just push me. Lodies. I miss any slate. I don't know. I don't know. Engine spin up time almost complete. Total time 5 minutes 22 seconds. Right on schedule. How are the helium 3 valves holding Nova? We double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. 
Any changes to the calculation sequence will be coordinated. No changes since we uploaded the last videos yesterday. It's a clean shot of the earth to join you. Upgrade the computer will be on board the space ship. Your lips don't match what you were saying, I don't know. Lift off. Uh, why am I so well? Whatever. I can just hand stuff off there. Are you ready? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to That's tell the voice about from the original data? Not the detective in Fallout 4. I think you may be trying to take a little too long. Yes, I know, shut up. If there's anything you need, I am happy. <clears throat> I don't want to share nothing. Oh, you're kind of better. Ah, uh, you take that. Um, Barrett's is not that much better. You can take that too. <clears throat> ah, you can have that one. Okay. Um, where to next? The course to Earth. We're going to Earth. Earth. Earth to Earth. Uh, let's scan. Okay. Look at this underpowered, ugly white and red ship. Blah. Exit. Or a hop, skip, and jump away. More like 18 jumps and 36 skips. I don't know. What are you popping on blue? Huh. Going to need those at some point. Anymore. for you and that and that not fast traveling there I don't know if I remember how to get through this but figure it out figure it out as we go I'm a little too hyper. I had a good workout. Bunch of uh, supplements, multivitamins, blah blah blah. Big old meal. Oh look, level 18 just for jumping. Um, uh, gonna need those. Anyway, big meal, good workout. A little bit too hyped up right now. Uh, do, 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 no, no, no. Oh, no, no, the bozo. Bozo, the oh, oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. We can never know whether lives were lost because this ship never launched, but it was built for a reason. Hmm. Let's see. Um, no. Should 
should be a bunch of, uh, oh, I can get in there. There's a bunch of batteries in here. Oh, you can stay there. Yeah, you stay there. No, I ran by the stairs, so that's fine. I gotta go that way anyway. Come on. Mum is the word. Like bird. Ba -ba 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 bird, bird, bird. Um, nothing over here, nothing over here. Nope. Jump. Gonna run away. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. I promise not to laugh if you need to jump up and down to stay warm. I'm waiting for a laugh, come on. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, da, da. Carrying all this crap is gonna screw me down the line. I have a feeling. Oh shit. Keep pressing A to jump, but it's Y. have to go through here to get across there so take the digi bitchy pick this work would not have been done if the ship had not meant to launch a shame dum da dum dum take a dump da dum dum dum, -dum. okay that's enough. How do you, Charlie Brown? Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, nope. Any more batterias? Anywhere. Um... There. Okay, frostbite on. Great. Okay, so that's running there. That needs power. And boom, oh, need you. Oh, take that. Take that. Take that. Hmm. Okay, Andreja. You're gonna take somebody's crap. Take a few things. You better. I can't carry it all. I need your help. <laughs> um. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. That's heavy as all heck. What did I just give her? I hope I didn't give her my uh batteries. You take that. You can take that. And that. Um, no, I didn't, didn't give her the batteries. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Let's go, wifey. NASA launch facility. Here we come. I think, well... I think I'm also a bit hyped up because uh swapped out the motherboard and the RAM. Went through uh Whoever went four. This room probably never could have imagined all that has happened since it oh, was built. No, I don't want to hear you. Uh Asus Prime Z790A with uh 4800 DDR5. So we're in a bit better position here. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Judith Tatien, the recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. In 
Head, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? No. There is more here to explore. Shall we? They're all nanotubes. Ugh, it's like getting your tubes tied or something. I don't know. NASA was very proud of all that it accomplished. I suppose they had a right to be. Uh, they accomplished a whole lot of naught with uh, what's been going on. Anything up here? I think I remember running up here and there was nothing. Yep, nothing. Make all them steps for what? Make people curious and then have them running around in circles. Nothing in here. I know there's a couple crates and stuff. It's around. Don't remember where. Take that med cap, med cap, med pack cap, whatever you've been dubbed. The oh, look, another slate. I don't need no more slate. Credits, 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 no. Let it put the paper to it, yeah, no. But you had me building these prototype colliders. Looks like early testing. And I want me to talk to you and squeeze into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin. Look on their faces if we could show them all that we have learned. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against the brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, I'm not here, okay? Hitting our heads no, against a brick wall. That's how I feel when I play Souls games. I'm not lying, okay? I must not been kind to it. We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Ooh, what's up here? Um, right out. Not a lot of time, so. Um, let's see if we do that in a one, two, three. Could we try now? Because then we need to try that. Then we need that one. I do no we don't oh yeah we do what no go back that way and we use this guy okay it's done already be quiet I'm getting there it's a topic. All that for what? A whole bunch of nothing. What you want to talk about? Power required. You don't have nothing either. A whole bunch of junk in here. Uh, 22 minutes. Fine. You want to talk? Let's talk. No, we don't. And yet here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. This talk of the unity of a, a multiverse, dead friends appearing again, it, it is all simply too much. And you think it is just that simple? It would yeah. seem to me that verifying this is much like verifying the idea of an afterlife. If this is all true, as the Starborns say, then passing through the unity will allow one to know the truth. Mm -hmm. And whoever does that will then never be able to report that truth back to the rest of us. What good then does it do us? The 
does it go? To anyone who knew you, you would be gone, never to return. Is that not the same as dead? Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, if you pass into this unity and come out in, in some other universe, look at who they are and what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Now you sound like Sarah. <laughs> wrong. I will do my best to assume the best, but you cannot blame me for preparing for the worst. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. Yep, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, and expect the unexpected. Most people would think that's cynical or metaphorical or have no true meaning, but it is true. Basically, you question everything and trust nothing. Until you see it proven. Okay, um... Not using all my digi picks. We're eventually gonna come out on that side, I think. I'll take that. We're gonna need it. I don't know if we'll need all of them, but excuse me, holy holy. Here, take a battery away. Open this up. Like walking on broken glass. Take it as you pick. Throw your super cool magnet. That magnet is not super cool, but you know. Ah, uh, there. What was that? Oh, I'm gonna need that. Ah, na 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 na. Oh boy. Wait, if I remember correctly, can I get in here? Sugar. Mm. Auto slot. Yep. This will work. There we go. I can't use it that way. No, we need to. Da, da, da. We'll use this one. Yeah, that way. Get out of here, bugaboo. Choke on your own vomit, dang it. That's a power switch. That, ah, another computer to hack. Nah, 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 Could do this one. Bingo. Good stuff. Uh, update friend flow. Recalibrate. Remove. Now no turrets shooting at us. Beautiful. Take that. Don't want that. Did you pick in fiber? Did you pick? Oh, where's all the credits, man? See, turrets won't hit us now. I'm just saying, you're gonna need some digi picks to figure that out. It's not always gonna be a one-time thing. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Going down, down, baby. I don't know the words. All I know is it's something from the movie Big. Tom Hanks.
mission me coco pop okay anyway down 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 okay let's see here um Thank you. Thank you. Project log. Dr. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype. Victor Zaza. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal. But did that door and that door end up going to the same place? Yeah. Around the lab. Good ways to get there. Another dang door. Ding dong dang do ding dong the dang do ding 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 That will have to work, and then we have four. Bingo. Okay, so. That will work. Boom. Garbage. All garbage. <sighs> Not safe. Okay. Let's see what you got, big boy. And there's no single one there, so should do that. With that, yeah. Auto slot that one, and boom. Okay. Um. Really nothing useful in there. Another waste of time. Okay. Um could go down this way. Press B to fly down. What are you? Crap. Per usual. Crap. Uh, why to float up and not bonk your head like I just did? Floating and floating and floating and floating and floating. I'm tired of unlocking doors, you can stay that way. Oh, credits. Definitely take those. I'll take that. No, down. Down, boy. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. I know what I've seen, Victor. I never actually got to visit your lab. Uh, we were working on the crab more boring, jibber jabber. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching... Ah, uh, Nick Earth. Valentine. That's who it was. Yes, Fallout 4. Project Am I going to remember how to get you that? You want our help manufacturing scans? No. Our is that the board might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I okay, I think it's... Just want to be sure. It's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Now we go up and over here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 thank you. We've arrived on the surface of Earth. We need to discuss what you found. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So, you might have company. Fascinating. Um, how the heck do we get in here? Yeah, this way. Is this resistance or foolishness? Here, the gothic of the universe! 
Hey. Your abilities are That's right. Going down, down, baby. Pooping in your pants. <laughs> okay. That's enough. Where'd you go? Right in the noggin. Where's the other one of you? Power required. Mm, just in case, for good measure. We'll take the other one and then run with it. Go. Mm-hmm. Gonna shield your home with Sloman Shield. See, told you we come out this way. I uh, take it. Bro, I'll take it. Garbage. Yeah, wrong way. I think it's and see how my nose magnet does. Um, I think there's two more in here. On Star Bjorn. More health. Okay. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Our... Where are you? And then. Uh, no, no, no. Really got no more health. So that means I gotta eat stuff. Hold on. Oh no, wait. Eggs, that one. Um, yogurt. A little bit of a boost there. Don't die. Oh, I reasoning no. <laughs> Hangover cure, cool. Uh, collections no. Please some health. Badly. I don't think it was up there. Hope there's no more. Because <laughs> then we'll be screwed here.
Need to go buy health. Ugh. I think there's one more. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> Got extremely lucky there. Okay, need to find some health. No, no. It didn't, but uh. that because I can't see where the heck I'm going. Oh, need a moment to walk that off? No, uh, yeah. I was hurting. Gotta get back down there. And why I got up here. Which is okay. So not that way. There's somewhere. Good enough for me. That works. Now, where do I find health when I need it? Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifact unlocks the secret of interstellar travel. At the cost of an easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh, no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the emissary. Than any other starborn. And you might not understand why. But I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. Thank you. See what that well, does. can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this at the usual place. The buried temple. We'll be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. You must have questions about what happens next. You won't be able to go to the buried temple right away. There are still other artifacts out there that mm. settled Fallout 76 that music. gathered. You'll need to work with your colleagues in Constellation to find them. He and I made a number of agreements over the years. You can even call them years at this point. We let him go. In exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple. You'll be able to prepare any way you can before then. There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The hunter and I agreed that whoever you sided with, the other would wait there. Expect anything and everything. Other starborn, human mercenaries and defenses, Alien creatures under mind control. It's all fair game. Oh, great. I'll meet you in orbit above the buried temple. We'll face what's there together. All of the other artifacts need to be gathered before the final one will reveal itself. Mm. I'll be bringing mine. The hunter will be bringing his. And 
You'll need to bring the rest. All the ones Constellation can find. Okay. Well, that about sums up this part of the series. Um, any other powers I need to gather and whatnot before we go for this? I'll do that on my own, and then I'll get back to y'all, because it's a lot of traveling, and I still need to go get a better ship. Um, so, yeah, I thank y'all for checking this out, coming by, watching, you know, giving it some love, because Starfield isn't all that bad from what others have said. Anyway, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Laters.